Oh, my next one is using um, the to do button. So often when we get an email, we've got to action it. Now, what some people will do, and Sam might talk about this a bit later on, they'll read an email like this one from Polly and go, oh, that's good. Yep, I've got to deal with that. But what I'll do is I'll just come into here. You know, I read that. That's good. Now, I've got to action it. So what I'll do is I'll just mark it as unread. Cool. And then when you come back to your inbox again, it's marked. You've got some emails that you've never seen and some emails that you have seen, but then you've marked them as unread. So therefore, it becomes a quite a complex to-do list because you can't remember where you were uh, before. Or if you're like me, your working RAM is getting very, very small, so you want to free up as much of that as possible. So this is what you can do. On the web version of um, Outlook, at the top here, there's a couple of last little things you can look at. There's one here that looks like a square box with a tick next to it, because it is a square box with a tick next to it. So it's the middle kind of icon. When I click on that, what it does is it brings up a mini version on the right-hand side of my screen of my calendar, but also the second tab across here is my to-do tab. So these are my, my tasks to do. So I might go, oh, this poly one here, this is really good. Oh, golly, all I'm going to do is I'm going to come across, I'm going to grab it. All I've done is I've held my mouse key on it. So I've just grabbed the email, held the mouse key, drag it across, and I'm going to add it as a task. When I add it as a task, it's now going to pop in there as a task for me to do in to do, so with Microsoft to do. Now, the nice thing about it is it tells me it comes from email, but it also allows me to view that email. So if I open up the to do app, it will be inside there as well. If I click on the little link, it shows me what the email is so I can action it. And then once I finish it, I can tick it off and it disappears off my to do list and it's all ready to go. So it's a really nice workflow there. It doesn't pull it out of your inbox but it does enables you to be able to manage that workflow inside that space.